What are the odds? Wow. Hi. Um, well, <laughs> mind, if, mind if we join you? So we'll have the LaSalle three glasses and a bottle of sparkling water from my brother here. Yeah, here, I don't need a whole bottle. Why not? We're together. Let's, let's celebrate. Look, I know I'm a pretty big advocate of the family, but this is supposed to be a dinner for two. Uh, are we intruding? Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't even notice. Do I need to explain this? No, 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 no seriousness. When the two of you decided that Emily and I should get married, you were merciless, remember? Constantly trying to push us together, always barging into our private moments, remember that? This is payback? No, 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 think of it as a, as a reminder to all of us to, to celebrate finding the right person. Don't take this the wrong way, but this is our celebration, not yours. Okay, so, uh, what if Nicholas and I were witnesses? Um, just to make sure it's official when you actually put the ring on Elizabeth's finger. Uh, you're a peacemaker, aren't you? <sighs> what do you think, Elizabeth? Should we give him the boot or let him stay? It's up to you. It's fine. You can stay. I want everyone to see how happy we're going to be and how much we love each other. I'm glad Rebecca and Nicholas just happened to be here tonight. It's a perfect opportunity to show them how real love works and how it can survive almost anything. As long as we believe in each other. All right. If I have to do this in front of you guys, that's the way it is. Elizabeth, I love you. I always have. Even when things seemed hopeless, but in my heart, I never gave up on us. And I know that you didn't, too. Being in love with you now is, is different in some ways than when we were kids. It's, it's not about sneaking away to a boxcar, hiding under the docks, or dreaming about a life in New York City. It's two people who are better together than apart. It's knowing that we were made for each other, to be together forever. I'm honored that you're willing and brave enough to wear this ring and to spend the rest of your life with me. I've loved you for most of my life. Well, and I am honored that you want to spend the rest of your life with me. It's taken us a long time to get to where we are. But you are the only man that I want. The only man I will ever share my life with. Your timing was perfect, after all. Absolutely. Okay. Well, to Elizabeth. To your fire, your beauty, and intelligence. To Lucky, who never gave up on love, and to who always follow his heart. And to the both of you, for always wishing happiness on me. So, I now wish that same happiness on you as you once again begin your lives together. Should I check my messages and How right? could you? What? How could you deliberately ruin a special evening between me and Lucky? You knew we were going to be at that restaurant because I told you. And don't act like you didn't see the ring on the table. It was sitting right there. Obviously, we were in the middle of a very private, intimate conversation, and you just barged right in. I was just trying to help. No, I think you were annoyed because Lucky wanted to take me to have a nice romantic no, dinner, no, and you I just wanted to spoil it. I was it. just trying to relieve the pressure between us. That's well, all. showing it, up when I've asked you to stay away? Yes, I care about you. Oh, my God, you made me feel so guilty. Oh, I'm sure that I did. I'm sure it was difficult for you to sit there and listen to Lucky pour his heart out to you when you and I both know you don't feel the same. Don't you dare tell me how I feel about Lucky.
Did you even listen to anything I said to Lucky tonight at dinner? Or did you just assume that I was lying? You know that I have loved him since I was a teenager. And yes, we have changed a lot over the years, but we never stopped loving each other, and we never will. Okay, fine. Where does that leave me? Oh my God, I can't believe you're even asking me that. I, I keep telling myself that this is about Emily and that you're still grieving and no. that you're doing things that you would have never even considered if she were you're still not alive. answering my question. Nicholas, you're, you're supposed to be my best friend. My brother-in-law. I know. Having sex with you was the most self-destructive, stupid thing I could have ever done. It, it has undercut every good part of my life. It has taken all the joy away from me and Lucky getting back together. I couldn't even be with him tonight. I asked him to drop me off here so I could think, knowing that I was going to call you. And he's wondering right now why I'm pushing him away, probably blaming himself for what's happening. What we're doing is wrong. And I should probably hate you right now for this. But you don't hate me. Because, like, I, I know that this is about Emily. And she would be so appalled if she knew what we were doing. Well, what the hell are we doing, Elizabeth? Why are we trashing our lives to be together? I'll tell you, because we can't deny what we're feeling anymore. Well, you don't know what I'm feeling. Just stop. Stop it, please. We just start Im Im admitting what's happening between us, no matter how painful and inconvenient it is for you. Look, I don't understand it. Please, please just get problem. out! Just get out! Okay. Okay. I'm... I'm sorry for showing up at the restaurant tonight. And I, I won't chase you anymore, I promise. I, and I'll try not to uh, show up where I'm not expected. Look at me. But if you want me, you know where I am. 